Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, November the 12th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 79, and Revelation chapter 18, verse 15 to 24, and the Song of Simeon. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O oh God, the nations have invaded your land. Alleluia, Psalm 79. Alleluia, O oh God, the nations have invaded your land. They have profaned your holy temple and they have made Jerusalem a heap of ruins. They have handed over the bodies of your servants as food to feed the birds of heaven, and the, faith, the flesh of your faithful to the beasts of the earth. They have poured out blood like water in Jerusalem. No one is left to bury the dead. We have become the taunt of our neighbors and mockery and scorn of those who surround us. How long, O God, will you be angry with us forever? How long will your anger burn like fire? Pour out your rage on the nations, the nations that do not know you. Pour out your rage on the kingdoms that do not call on your name. For they have destroyed the family of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, and laid waste the land where they dwell. Do not blame us for the sins of our ancestors. Let your compassion hasten to meet us. We are left in the depths of distress. O oh God, our Savior, come to our help. Come for the sake of the glory of your name. O oh, Most High, our God, forgive our sins and rescue us for the sake of your name. Why should the nations say, where is their God? Let us see the nations around us repaid with vengeance for the blood of your servants that was shed. Let the groans of the prisoners come before you. Let your strong arm reprieve those condemned to die. Pay back our neighbors seven times over the taunts with which they taunted you, O God. But we, your people, the flock of your pasture, will give you thanks forever and ever. We will tell your praise from age to age. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O God, the nations have invaded your land. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Revelation, chapter 18, beginning at verse 15. The merchants of these wares who gained wealth from her will stand far off, in fear of her torment, weeping and mourning aloud. Alas, alas, the great city, clothed in fine linen, in purple and scarlet, adorned with gold, with jewels, and with pearls. For in one hour all this wealth has been laid to waste, and all shipmasters and seafarers, sailors, and all whose trade is on the sea stood far off, and cried out as they saw the smoke of her burning. What city was like the great city? And they threw dust on their heads as they wept and mourned, crying, Alas, alas, the great city! where all who had ships at sea grew rich by her wealth. For in one hour she has been laid waste. Rejoice over her, O heaven, you saints and apostles and prophets, for God has given judgment for you against her. And then a mighty angel took a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, With such violence Babylon, the great city, will be thrown down 
and will be found no more. And the sound of harpists and minstrels and flutists and trumpeters will be heard in you no more. And an artisan of any trade will be found in you no more. And the sound of the millstone will be heard in you no more. And the light of a lamp will shine in you no more. And the voice of the bridegroom and the bride will be heard in you no more. For your merchants were the magnets of the earth, and all nations were deceived by your sorcery. And in you was found the blood of prophets and of saints, and of all who have been slaughtered on the earth. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now, O tender God, let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared before the face of the nations, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.